Hello everyone! Photoshop is a powerful tool that is capable of creating the worst images you've ever seen, as well as amazing pieces of art. A very useful aspect of Photoshop's image processing is their long list of blend modes, which allow you to blend layers together to achieve different visual effects. You may have heard of digital artists talking about how they overlay a flat color layer to make their pieces look better, but what does that even mean? And how can we implement similar functionality in your game engine of choice? Every blend mode formula takes in two images as input, A and B. A is the bottom layer and B is the top layer. B will be blended into A. For all demonstrations, both A and B will be the same image, such that the game render blends with itself. Blend mode effects are divided into three categories, darken, lighten, and contrast. Blend modes in the darken category will darken the image, blend modes in the lighten category will lighten the image, and lastly, blend modes in the contrast category will increase the contrast of the image. Pretty complicated, I know, but let's start with blend modes that darken. The simplest darken blend mode is subtraction. We will subtract B from A such that the colors decrease in value. Since in this case, A and B are the same image, a complete subtraction blend will result in a black image. The next darken blend mode looks a bit nicer. If we multiply A and B, then darker colors will be affected more than brighter colors, making shadows more prominent. You might be asking yourself, Ace Rolla, shouldn't multiplication make the colors brighter? Generally, yes, but remember that in the realm of computer graphics, color values are normalized to 0 to 1, instead of 0 to 255, like you might be used to in programs like Photoshop. When you multiply values between 0 and 1 with each other, the result is a decrease in value, as seen here with a simple x squared graph. For the more experienced graphics programmers, this means that you should only be using these blend mode formulas in low dynamic range, otherwise your multiply will have dire consequences. The last darken blend mode I will bother talking about is color burn. First, we invert the bottom layer and then divide it by the top layer, then we invert the quotient. The result is an incredibly harsh curve that makes any mildly darker color become black. Now that we know about blend modes that darken, it's pretty easy to learn the blend modes that lighten. The simplest lighten blend mode is adding. We will add B to A such that the colors increase in value. The next lighten blend mode looks a bit nicer. If we invert A and B, multiply them, and then invert the product, we produce an inverted exponential curve which will bring brighter colors up while leaving darker colors mostly alone. This blend mode is called Scream. The last light and blend mode I will bother talking about is color dodge, which is as simple as dividing the bottom layer by the inverted top layer, which will result in bright colors getting very bright while leaving dark colors alone. If you haven't noticed by now, the light and blend modes are an inversion of the dark and blend modes, but what about the contrast blend modes? If Multiply Blend affects mainly dark colors, and Screen Blend affects mainly light colors, then we could compute the luminance of the base layer, and if the luminance is greater than 50%, we apply a Screen Blend, otherwise we multiply. But, if we visualize this on Desmos, we see that it doesn't quite match up slope-wise, so we need to multiply our calculations by 2 so that the equations meet in the middle. This gives us the formula behind the critically acclaimed overlay blend mode that digital artists use and abuse, but what about the other contrast blend modes? Soft light is a slight modification of overlay that uses a softer curve which doesn't brighten colors as much. Here's the math on screen because I don't want to say it out loud, but an important thing to note is that it uses the luminance of the top layer instead of the base layer. The last contrast blend mode is like soft light, but we are going to color burn dark colors and color dodge brighter colors, which results in a very high contrast, more saturated blend, but at max strength, it's a little too harsh. Vivid Light is my personal favorite blend mode, but it's high risk, high reward, since sometimes the colors get really blown out.
Congratulations! You are now an expert on Photoshop blend mode formulas. It's important to note that these are approximations since Adobe hasn't made these formulas public, but it's pretty close. So far I've only shown you examples in which the render is blended with itself, but we can very easily blend with a solid color. Take for instance this random shade of blue, if we blend it with our grass using vivid light, then the contrast goes buck wild while also making everything a bit colder because of the blue blend. We can also blend any image we want with the render. Maybe we want to give a slight texture to everything with this canvas texture. If we overlay it, then we can see the canvas texture blend with everything. It doesn't look very good, but we can do it. We could also overlay this picture of a pufferfish. The possibilities are endless, really. Anyways, I've been hard at work on a new project for you guys, so here's a sneaky peeky. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.